They say that this country is free and they say that this country is equal, but it is not equal if it's sometimes. I was discriminated against once upon a time while me and my friend was walking down the street and it's not even really a gay discrimination it was just like we were walking I was walking around with my gay friend we were walking on the sidewalk and there were these people in the car and they rolled down the window this guy just like leans out the window and he's like hey skinny pants and they're yelling about how he's a faggot or something like that he said you're a faggot yeah, yeah he said you're a faggot because that's classy or something <laughs> that made them tough or something she was all pissed off and she was all like i would have thrown my soda at his face and it really 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 bothered me i wanted to go off on them which really wouldn't have done much because he was like all the way down the street at a stoplight but that's all right because she can't <laughs> I only had one friend in fifth grade. We would walk around and we would hold hands and talk the entire time. Forever and were spread about me saying I was lesbian and they saw me and my friend kissing. Okay, so my name's Ben. I told my parents I was gay. When I told them it was not good, they took my car, they took my phone. They were just basically like punishing me. So I like to force me to be straight. Around like nine years old, there was some cheesy Nickelodeon show on because I always have their little like cheesy we're gonna connect with the teenager shows but there was like this guy who I thought was so cute on that show but I was like nine years old and I didn't like that because I didn't even know that was possible for dudes to like dudes and so I was all uncomfortable with it and I'm like I'm the only person in the world who likes guys and no guy will ever want me because they don't like guys so I was freaking out and I thought it was a bad thing I was in middle school I got a crush on my friend and I got the crush on her while I was at church camp, thank you. Church camps. I was like, oh no, this is really bad, this is really bad, I'm not allowed to feel like this. Everyone told me I was lesbian and I was like, no, I'm not, so I was straight for straightness. They're like, this isn't an option of lifestyle and you can't live that. My parents have never came to accept it, we just don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> they say I'm not allowed to date, so I just don't tell them what I do half the time. Hush. Me and my parents don't get along and I don't tell them about my life and I limit them to things. Every time this guy came up on the screen, I would like cover my face so I couldn't see him on the screen so I couldn't think he was attractive. And I thought that me doing that meant that I was taking a step in the right direction towards opposing the gay. And for a while it worked and all my straight guy friends, I would spend the night at their houses when they thought I was straight and they were like, man, you're so straight. Saying things like, is it okay to be gay, suggest that it's a choice. I don't think it's a choice. I mean, and I, I don't think it's wrong. Why am I gay? Because I chose to be gay. That's what I chose to do. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with being gay. I mean, you can't really help it. I'm pretty sure there's a gene saying that you're gay. You can't change it. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it is fine to be gay because it's, it's your life. And I don't think people need to worry about other people's lives in that, in that sense. Gay marriage. Um, the fact that it hasn't happened yet is criminal to me. Well, straight couples are screwing up marriage every day. I don't think it's right for us to say, hey, we have something sacred, we have something so special, when half of marriages are screwed up. I think it should be allowed because, you know, when, when they decided to create the United States, it was to have this idea of to do whatever you wanted and not have it criticized. I don't think people should have gay marriage because it's a religious term, but I think we should take marriage out of like federal things and replace it with like a civil union. And so everyone can get a civil union. Yeah, I think it should just happen already. What are some like stereotypes or slurs or myths or nicknames you've heard for gay people? Just 
gay people can't have sex. You're technically not having sex. I get queer, fairy. Bear is if you're hairy. Just because you're gay doesn't mean I think, oh, is he gonna come in a dress one day? Gay people all talk like this and have lists. Well, they're like fairies and they go, Kh. Gay guys are better lovers. That's true, though. Homo, faggot. Homosexuals I've seen used as a slur. Apparently, gays can be used as a slur, even though that's what we are. I guess that they're like really feminine and flamboyant. They're constantly aroused by every single male they see. Dildo lover. Basically, if you call them anything that hints to their homosexuality, they don't like it. My parents believe that homosexuality is a sin. It's against God's law and that if you're homosexual, it's your choice. So I went to Mormon church the other day and <clears throat> The lady, I don't even know what she was, but she was a bitch, and she goes and says, when I think about the truth and what I know to be true, what God tells me is true, and something about homosexuals are bad. They read this huge, big, long packet about what's wrong with homosexuals. They compare homosexuality um, to stuff like being susceptible to alcohol. You can't compare something as pure as love to something like alcoholism. Love is rare. Love is really rare. I mean, so if you can find it, it shouldn't matter what gender it is. You can't define love out of a book, you know? Well, there's no right way to do love. It just happens. It's like TV except real. I think if a gay couple can find it, that's fine. People say that homosexuality is this corruptive form of lifestyle. How is it corruptive for two people to love each other? There's nothing wrong about loving someone else. They say it goes against human nature. Art goes against human nature. I mean, way back when, people would just eat to survive with, like, killing animals and stuff. And then, as human culture evolved, they started adding things to it and changing it and making it taste better. Now food is much more than survival. It's an entire industry. And I think sexuality has evolved the same way. Sexuality has evolved so that you don't fall in love and mate with people just to have kids. People don't just love to procreate anymore. You can be with someone not just to have children, but because you want to be. I just don't think that people really understand what gay is yet. It's just something that people aren't really used to yet. It's just new. It's not bad. Obama, I know that you're listening. Are you listening?